Hello everyone, uh, this is Yixun Guo speaking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your mobile phone to complete the mobile HDRT engine workflow on Rico Cita Z1. And of course, with a very great plugin called Do Fish Eye plugin. So the software you need, or I recommend some software, some apps to pre-install. Uh, one thing is the, the Cita Z1 Stitcher. Uh, also developed by Yoshi Hirota. And next one is uh, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, uh, which can help you do the color correction and uh, fine tuning the image uh, exactly the same as the uh, Adobe Photoshop Classic on Windows or Mac. Uh, next one is uh, the system app called Gallery. You can see in the perform, you can visualize your uh, panorama in your cell phone. And uh, another software is Touch Retouch. If you want to make some Nadia patch, you can use Touch Retouch to make Nadia patch, or you can use Touch Retouch as a panoramic viewer to view your images. So next, I'm going to plug in uh, my Cita Z1 to my Android phone uh, through a Type-C to Type-C cable, uh, which you can see in the, in the picture. Uh, sl slide down, you can notification center. We can see my cell phone has already connected with the Cita Z1. I connected, and I'm now inside the Cita's storage space. Uh, in the folder, I, we can see that the dual fish eye. Uh, as we uh, uh, as we have mentioned before, uh, as uh, our last tutorial, I've told you that uh, for the dual fish eye plugin, the Cita will save two DNG files. One is the original 12-bit DNG file. The other one is the in-camera stack HDR DNG file, which is 16-bit high dynamic range. Now you can see uh, the structure of the folder. So on the left on the left side is the HDR DNG. Then you can see the folder name, uh, the file name with an HDR uh, as the end. Uh, so for the mobile DNG workflow, we, we only need to copy all the HDR DNG files uh, from the from our Cita Z1 to our cell phone. So I will not copy all of the files because several sh shots are for test purpose only. I will copy the uh, these files. Yes, now each of the each one of the DNG file uh, is about uh, fifteen three megabyte. So I select these files and select copy to. And you can directly copy to the download folder in your Android system. Okay. And the copy speed is very fast. Uh, in fact, it's, a, it's, it's about a full speed USB 2.0. Okay, so after around one minute, uh, we can get all of our high quality DNG files. Uh, one thing to mention that during the copy, uh, there's another software called Cita DNG Transfer. Uh, this, this software was also uh, developed by Yoshi Hirota, which can transfer the official DNG files wirelessly from the Cita Z1 to the cell phone. But at this moment, this application does not support plugin. So maybe the developer have to do some, some more works to make it down so that you can transfer the HDR DNG wirelessly. But at this moment, what you can only do is to uh, copy and paste through a cable connect with your phone and the CD1. Okay, so now we have uh, copied all the files into our, uh, into our phone. In the folder download, we can see the preview uh, all in raw format, right? These files in, the, in raw format. And we select all the files, okay? And okay, and share share to the Lightroom, which means we Lightroom will automatically import these raw files into the, his database. And we open the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and uh, in all photos, today the 2020 February, you can see uh, we have a uh, just import uh, six photos, right? Okay. So now we can see the six DNG shot. Okay. And let's take one for example. Okay, but for example, this one we have already used this image in our last tutorial. And we can fine tune this image just like on the PC or Mac. You can use the auto correction. 
okay i'll use uh, exposure and uh, highlight and that's it I, I would like just show you some basic corrections okay and for the next one uh, another good great feature about the Cita Z1 uh, Dual Fish Eye plugin is that the HDR DNG generated by the Cita Z1 also support auto leveling. For example, like this one. For example, like this one uh, from the preview image, you can see this shot was taken uh, horizontally, right? Horizontally. But after the uh, Cita Z1 stitcher. This image will be corrected uh, automatically. So that is another secret feature for the dual fish eye plugins, which I didn't mention uh, on my last tutorial. Okay, so burn uh, burn down the highlight, burn up the exposure, because it is a true HDR image. Although we have boosted the exposure for five EV, there's still no noise. That's the magic of the, this. Is a true HDR image. Burn, burn down the burn up the shadows, uh, burn back a little of the white. Okay, and make it warmer, and add more texture, add more uh, correct uh, the uh, uh, chromatic aberrations. Okay, burn down the light. Yes, and uh, add texture. A little bit more exposure. You can see this is a true HDR image. Directly in your on your Android phone, you can do the out post processing on this image. So this one was shooting in a normal position, and uh, this one was shoot horizontally. So next up, I will export this two image directly to my uh, cell phone and stitch directly in the CZ1 stitcher to test if the auto leveling auto horizontal line correction will work okay yes so after the all the post processing in adobe photoshop lightroom we are going to export these two files to our android phone uh, click on share and uh, export export for, to jpeg or as, as you wish you can export as tiff file and the largest available dimensions with a hundred percent quality with more options the file name the output sharpening the display and make make sure that you will include all the metadata, all the metadata, the camera, camera raw info, location, especially the camera, camera raw info, because the horizontal automatically correction, this data was saved in the camera raw info. So you have to make sure that you include all the metadata before exporting your images. So next, file name, we don't want to change the file name. And output sharpening, we click on now. Color space because now uh, most of our, our cell phone, uh, they have been equipped with the display P3 color space, the LED screen, so we can choose this color space, or you can choose sRGB, or Adobe RGB. Okay. Next up is export. So during the export, uh, let's talk something more about uh, Yoshi Hiruta's apps. Uh, as we know, we have a software called the the. the Theta DNG transfer, but this software uh, cannot cannot copy the HDR DNG file from the Theta, but this app could copy the original original official DNG files. So in the future, we we hope we can see an update of this great software that we can copy and paste the HDR DNG files without the cable, so that when you're traveling around. You don't have to carry to, to cable connect the C D one and the this Android Android phone. Okay, now the export has been complete. Now we go to the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom and we can see the two files. Okay. And uh, let's 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 check it out if we can perform auto leveling in the C D one teacher. Okay, you can see this one was shot horizontally. I intentionally shoot horizontally. To, to make sure that the automatically ho horizon correction will work. Let's share directly to the stitch. And you can see, right? It's magic. It's, it's, it's horizontal. And uh, this image was shooting uh, a normal position. 
and we share it directly to the stitcher and it's almost a perfect aligned but with some minor change of this because sometimes the uh, auto leveling data will have some uh, small errors okay and also the Cita Z1 stitcher uh, support a batch processing okay double check directly share to a stitch and you can uh, choose the uh, normal which means leveling each image automatically based on the active information and we click on OK and this one it stitch automatically for us okay we don't have to worry about the, the post processing everything is automatically and everything is in batch is automatically right this this workflow is amazing so and if you are not satisfied with the first result because sometimes the the C D one the horizontal correction number we have some uh, tiny errors so we can do the the manual stitch and we we correct the horizontal line like this I think now it's perfect and we click on save okay so if you have a large amount of DNG files. You can definitely rely on the the batch stitch of the CD1 stitcher. Uh, but if you are not satisfied with a few of them, you can go back and stitch manually. Now in another folder called the CD stitcher, we have all the files we we perform, right? So everything this one is perfect, it's perfectly aligned. You can see I was standing here and this is where I put my uh, put my camera. Okay, so uh, after the stitching, we can see both of the images are perfectly stitched and leveled. Next up, in touch retouch, we can remove the nadir part. We share to the touch retouch, and we can see it interactively with my uh, uh, with my app. You can see the the tripod, the shadows of my selfie stick, and let's click on quick repair to patch this part and to get rid of the shadow we can use uh, the line removal like this oops look look what have we done and we uh, save as modify or uh, select the modify original okay okay so after that we have finished the Nadia patch now we zoom in you can see the we already already have a perfectly panorama, right? And we share it to the touch retouch again to view everything around us. And you can see this is uh, the the very best image created only with our cell phone. Okay, so that is the last step if you want to patch an idea. But if you don't want to patch an idea, you can share this image directly on Facebook or on some other platform with your friends.